वेलकम टू आर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस पार्ट वन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बीजी एट वर्क आर इंटरनल ऑर्गन वी नो दैट लंग्स आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन वी शुड मेंटेन लंग्स इन अ हेल्दी कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉन्ग टर्म स्मोकिंग द एयर दैट एंटर द लंग्स इज नॉट सफिशेंटली प्योरीफाइड एज अ रिजल्ट द इम्प्योरिटीज इन द एयर बिगेन टू एक्यूमुलेट इन द लंग्स because of this the likelihood of getting different diseases of the lungs increases the solid toxic particle present in the tobacco smokes from cigarette or bds form a sticky layer which start accumulating on the inner side of the alveolus this reduces the amount of oxygen by the body in addition some toxic substances present in the tobacco also enter the alveoli this ill effect leads to diseases of respiratory organs including life threatening diseases like lung cancer if there are people around us who smoke it is possible that it we may have to face the consequence of smoking even if we do not smoke of ourselves uh, this is called as a passive smoking we should avoid coming in contact with tobacco smoke or let by the person who smoke therefore there is now a ban on smoking in public places Now let us first understand the process of digestion. We will study about the process of digestion. The food get digested in the digestive system. First, let us understand what is mean by a alimentary canal. The food that we eat get digested in the body. This process take place in the different different parts of a very long flexible tube inside our body. This tube is called as the alimentary canal. The upper end of this tube is our mouth and the lower end is the anus although it is one continuous tube from mouth up to the anus the shape of this tube is not same in all the parts the different parts of the alimentary canals have different structure and function this different parts of the alimentary canal are called as the digestive organs certain glands outside the alimentary canals help in the process of digestion salivary glands esophagus liver stomach pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum and anus are the organs of the digestive system the process of digestion begins as soon as the food is taken in the mouth the teeth tongue and the saliva convert the food to a soft moist ball called a bolus which is easy to swallow the bolus reaches the stomach through esophagus the stomach is shaped like a bag the glands in the stomach secret digestive juice glands digestive juice glands is an organs that secrete the specific substance the digestive juices mix with the food in the stomach and bring about some digestive processes at the same time some disease producing germs in the food are also destroyed here the food is converted into a thin slurry it then passes to a small intestine The small intestine of an adult person is about 7 7 meters long. Many digestive processes take place here and useful substances produced are observed in the blood. The undigested food and the remaining substances substances of the digestive food pass into the large intestine. The large intestine of an adult is approximately 1 and 1/2 meter long. Most of the water get absorbed in the large intestine and the undigested food remains for some time in the rectum as feces or stool later this feces is expelled from the body through the anus sufficient quantity of water is necessary for the process of digestion in our food take place properly or for the food to keep moving to the alimentary canal if we do not drink enough water we must suffer from constipation that is one passes hard stool or does not even and or does not pass its stool regularly none of the other tasks in the body take without take place without water the water that is absorbed in the body during the process of digestion is used for all the processes in the body therefore it is very important to drink adequate quantities of water thank you